Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to do remaining question of paper 2 from uh, April 2024, year 9. So, first question we have here, number 15, the graph shows the exchange rate of US dollar and Japanese yen. So, you can see the graph, angelic change is 40 dollars into Japanese yen, calculate how many Japanese yen uh, will Anglic um, receive, right. So, uh, we will see from here, uh, then we have here 25, uh, this along x axis we have US dollar. So, this is dollar and versus we have this uh, Japanese, right, uh, what you call yen. So, we have uh, dollars one side and we have Japanese yen. So, 25 dollars are equivalent to 3300 Japanese yen and we are looking for 40 dollars right and what will be that. Now, I just cross multiply over here. Mm, so, that gives us x times 25 equals to 3300 times 40. Uh, then divide by 25 and divide by 25 this goes and you are left with here 5280 right. Now, number 16 a triangle ABC is translated by vector 2 1 to make the triangle DEF. Now, ABCD is ABC is translated to make D E F right. Then triangle D E F is translated by this vector. So, this is translated to make G H I right. So, again we are given that the translation. Describe fully uh, the single transformation that maps from A B C to, to G H I. So, we are looking for the this one from here to here right. So, obviously, this is a translation because we have done nothing over here. So, it is a translation by we will see first if this was here uh, this is 2 1 and then again it is negative 3 and 7. So, we are just going to add that. So, this is 2 1 and then uh, plus another one is negative 3 and 7. Uh, sorry do not put this sign over here. So, let us calculate this, this is going to become 2 minus 3 and 1 plus 7. So, this comes out to be negative 1 and 8, right. So, it is along negative 1 and 8, where this vector, right. Now, next Rajiv bisects an angle, here is the construction, we want to bisect this angle, there are arcs missing from this construction, construct the missing arc accurately on the diagram. So, what do you need to do? You will take your uh, compass and place it over here, open this, from here you are going to draw an arc at point from point A and let us say this is point B. So, another one here, same radius, ok. So, you are just going to draw this arc from here. Number 18, uh, the ratio of the sizes of angles. Now, these are the angles in ratio 5, 8 and 3. Tick to show if the triangle is right angled or not right angled. Now, if the triangle, let us say the triangle is right angled. If the triangle is right angled, then this side is going to be the biggest one. So, uh, hypotenuse is biggest one. So, that means this angle is going to be uh, 90 and this is this should have the ratio of this 8 right 8 x then other one can be 3 x and this angle can be 5 x right. So, we are looking for this right angle. So, 8 is out of like total, total is 5 plus 8 plus 3 right. So, times out of 180 because sum of the angles of triangle is 180. So, this is 8 over 16 times 180. So, 8 times 2 is 16 
2 times this is 90. So, we got one angle as 90. If one of the angles of triangle is 90, then this is a right angle triangle. Now, the next one complete the table of values for uh, 3y plus 6. 3 uh, y plus 5 y equals to 60 when x is 0 when x is 0 this term is going to be 0. So, 60 divided by 3 is going to be 20 right when x is 6 x is 6 3 y plus 5 times 6 equals to 60 and then 3 y equals to 60 minus this is 30 uh, which is 30 3 y divided by 3 divided by 3. So, this is 10. Okay. Now, when y is 0, y 0 means 3 times 0 plus 5 x equals to 60 and then 5 x equals to 60 divide by 5 divide by 5. So, this is 12. Okay. So, we have the values now on the grid draw the graph. So, we are going to take these values. So, first value we have 0 and 20, 0 and 20 is here and then second one is 6 and 10. 6, 6 is here along this 10 is here. Okay. Then we have 12 and 0, 12 and 0 is here. Now, please use your ruler to draw join all these lines. Draw straight line using ruler. Okay. Now, number 20, the diagram shows a semi circle with radius 3 centimeters tick to show the area of the semicircle. So, we are looking for the area as you know that area of circle is pi r squared right and we have a semicircle area of semicircle uh, this is going to be half of that. So, half times pi times r is 3 square just substitute the values in the uh, calculator you will get it as 4. Uh, sorry not 4 14. So, this is the answer. Now, if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe and if you are getting the benefits also kindly subscribe to the channel. I have seen like uh, it takes lot of efforts to bring all these papers to you kindly appreciate by giving some comments and also subscribe and share it with your friends and let me know the feedback in the comment section please. So, question 21 here is a table of values for points that all lie in the same straight line. Uh, so, we have this in the same straight line complete the table we are looking for this one. Now, if you observe there is no particular rule from 5 to uh, it becomes value of x then value of y it becomes 27. If I observe 5 times 5 is 25 plus 2 right then we have 6, 6 times 5 is 32 plus 2, 6 times uh, sorry 5, 6 times 5 is 30 plus 32. So, it is working this way. So, that means we are going to multiply here by 5 which is 70 plus 2, 70 plus 2 it is going to be 72 simple right trial and error method. Now, number 22 solve the inequality, we have this inequality here 2 x plus 20 less than or equals to 16. So, 2 x will be less than or equals to 16 minus 20 that means, 2 x is less than or equals to minus 4 and x is less than or equals to minus 2 that is the final answer. Expand and simplify we are just going to expand the brackets nothing else x will be multiplied to every thing inside. So, x squared plus 4 x now this one is going to be plus x squared plus 5 x then 3 is going to multiply to everything in uh, the other bracket negative 3 x negative 15. So, this is x squared plus 4 x plus x squared 3 5 minus 3 is 2 x minus 15. So, x plus x square x squared plus x square combining the like terms 2 x squared plus 6 x minus 15. So, remember to write down your answer in the space provided. So, 
So, number 24, the temperature is measured in degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. The formula is given that is used to confirm uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. The approximate formula F is equal to 2 C plus 30 is also used to convert uh, degree Celsius to Fahrenheit. Mike says there is a value of C where these two formula gives an equal value of f find the value of c now if the equal value of f so that means these two things should be equal so that means 9 c over 5 plus 32 should be equal to 2 c plus 30 to get the value of uh, c which gives us the uh, gives us the value where it is uh, same uh, so, 9 c over 5 minus 2 c equals to 30 minus 32, right. So, this is negative 2 here. So, this side is 9 c minus 5 times 10 to c over 5. So, this is negative c equals to negative 2 times 5. So, c is going to be 10. So, value of c is 10 where we have the same value of f. Now, number 25, this is question from probability. Uh, Safiya has two bags of sweets. Each bag contains red sweets and green sweets. So, there are two kinds of sweets, red and green. Uh, so, each uh, she takes one sweet at random from each bag. The probability that she takes red sweet from the bag is uh, for the red it is 0.3 and uh, probability that she takes red wig from both bag this is first bag this from the both bag is uh, 0.12 so probability of both we are given this one here uh, so if, uh, the question is complete five missing probabilities so as this is 0.3 so sum of the probabilities should be one so uh, 0.3 and 0.7 makes it one so this is going to be 0.3 7 here and now here we have this the probability is 12. So, that means 0 0.3 this one is 0 0.3 times something that gives us 0 0.12. So, it will be 0 0.4 from here. So, 0 0.4 comes over here. So, then this should be 1. So, 0 0.6 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4 is 1 again here green and red. So, this is again uh, it is going to be 0 0.4 and this is going to be 0 0.6 that is how we can complete the table right. Now, the next one number 26 I think this is the last question of this paper yes. Uh, so, we have a diagram the diagram shows a garden in the shape of hexagon uh, Eva builds a fence of all sides six sides of the garden. The fence costs 23 meters per, per meter. Calculate the total cost of the fence. So, for the cost of the fence, we need to have all the sides. If you see, we have all these sides 16, 20, 16, 8, 9, but we do not have this side, right? We need to find out this one. So, for that, uh, let us say we join this one. If you join this one, this becomes a right angle triangle, and this one is 8. So, 20 minus 8, this is going to be 12 here right. So, now by Pythagoras theorem we can find out this value let us say this is x. So, x squared is going to be 12 squared plus 9 squared. So, this is 144 plus 25 uh, which is 225 x squared. So, x is going to be 15 we are taking only positive value. So, x is 15 now we have this value as 15 now we can add all of them to find the total uh, uh, perimeter right for the perimeter of the shape we will have to add all of them 16. So, here we have remember to take all of them 16 plus then 15 then plus 9 plus 8 this is 9 8 now we are looking for this plus 16 plus 20. So, if you add all of them you will get 84 meters right. So, now the co uh, fence the cost of the fence uh, 1 meter 1 meter cost uh, twenty three dollars right 
and how many uh, like 30 meters we have 30 meters is going to cost 23 minus 84 sorry this is 84 this one is 84 so once you multiply this you are going to get 1932 1932 that's the final answer for this so that's it for this uh, video guys i hope you guys understood everything let me know in the comment section for your feedback and kindly kindly subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends it motivates me to do more videos thank you so much guys be blessed